you know, do my wedding with my wife, get my visa, and we leave Nigeria. That was the aim. That is why he, he went so hard on his false narrative. He went so hard. He went so hard. And you know, the, what pains me most is, even when Westo, this Westo of the guy that went hiding now, Westo will come on this platform when Muba died, I think, the, the day, the second day MFA started live here, yeah? was it that same day or the second day I joined? Westo was always on this platform. He wouldn't alter a word. Do you understand? Not until everybody had actually given their submission. How do you know the funny part is this? These people came up with kind of like the pack. Okay, when Westo joined, this just a of a thing. You know what he told us on this platform? He said he lived in France with his family. That was be France, you know. Do you understand? Everybody, they kind of, ah. so I was like, I had so much respect for this guy. Like, okay, uh, okay, everybody. I was telling my wife that day, like, Theo, this one, he lives in France. This one, blah, 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 blah. You see what justice had brought us. Everybody com comes together and we're speaking the truth. Do you get it? The day my wife saw where to at the Corona inquest. And my wife mm -hmm. saw kind of like, ah. She was a queer in France, you know. We know she said, Denny, or she said, Delano, we are no, we are France. I was, do you understand? I had to, what I don't know, but I had to kind of like, yeah, it's true, because I believed what he said. Not until he himself is another, another weary <laughs> that came up with another different narrative. He will go to the court. Whatever I listen to at the court, he won't even talk about that. It will just continue to spread a wrong narrative. And I was like, Kilo really show my boys ye. She Mati to because you are gifting me now. Because I'm making whatever token that I'm making on this platform now. And I'll make this money for five years, ten years straight. Six months. But but I don't want it on. But in got to more money, whatever you make now. Whatever. Whatever you make now, that is not consistent. That what you're making now. In the next two weeks, people will just see that stop. They can actually go broke because touch and roll I feel okay. Let me invest. Let me do this. Let me do that. But thing come here, but it's easy. Arifa plan carry his whole life. I can't imagine me now carrying my whole life, my whole whatever I want to do, and I now put it on this justice for Mubad. I can't imagine. So when I see people, that is why I felt like we were more yoked that you know, one name conscious because somebody name contonshi me, you could love Michelle, you could delight Michelle, okay, man, this is where I work, blah 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 blah. We know, we know, okay, MFM, we know what MFM does, and some 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 some, some people like that. But this particular guys, me, you born Michelle Tonshi, so that is why they can sit comfortably on their life. And spread the wrong narrative. Cajole people to donate money. So at the time they donate money, can uh, accountability, accountability. Where is the money going to? In Jotty West to Ramotu, no one can't be the same people. We ah, no the justice, but by Ramotu, Baulo Bere. I'm telling you, the day this guy bought the car, they told me when he bought the car, his first cash out, his first cash out. I was called, I was told is the amount. So when he, oh my. What have been told you worry? She be my poly in US to law. What have been told you worry? So to work out the entry and told it told it two million cash. To what did he talk about this song? Who talk about this song? Three million food. Think just imagine how that person will think the first cash out that they give West to look by you West to jet with ah or more. You know, kill me this so toro. The same thing happened to Arifa. The same thing happened to Arifa. Do you know? And do you know the damage these people caused as this? Whatever that they are saying, there are some set of people that they will just pick on what you say and they will run away with that narrative. They will just pick on what just one word. They might not come back to your life for like in the next two weeks. We are just about to read that tiny. But in Kototi Beloye. Oh, my stick, sorry, more. and it affected a lot of people. Oko ati yawo mi, oko team mi, oko yawo team kini ko kini ko. 
it's because of the wrong narrative and that was where i was having issue where are you guys able to read book one story there why book book story there was one donkey one donkey woman that we have mama Ese. if that woman should analyze for you rotex see mama is about any narrative mama is she going to talk about say she did it when everything happened we get some weary for this thing when they narrate the oga pata pata of them all that is angry that he didn't make money is african magic african television that was the oga of them the masterminder the the protocol he was the one that came up with you see this money raising blah 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 the man started it in koto man doni yenpe a minimum of one year idea to undo it one hour one hour for one bar on jade and when africa even the day african tv started talking it started from this platform and we always questioning come where are you coming where did you get this your narrative from there was this day i asked this man one question he said you know he he also came with a package well cooked story yeah kind of like he live in belgium i have an office in belgium i've got my office in london i've got my office in Ibadan, blah 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 and whenever he says that i'll kind of like me i like to fact check people I'll go and check. Yes, sir. Ah, see, you said you've been doing this for a couple, kind of couple of years. Sorry, can you give me one case? Let me just one case similar to this justice, this case of Mubai that you and your team have been able to undo, that you were able to solve. And he said, no, they have not had, but they have. Just give us one. And do you know because um, people of intellect on this case. On this justice for mobile there are few people of intellect that can actually reason deep down we are, we are few but you know the rest of them that we have we have donkey that when you give them this narrative you know what they will tell you ah Omo, not true yeah 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 why am i not thinking towards that direction ah, what that man said is true do you understand and this is the same set of people that that is why they are so gullible that is why you can tell them stories like, okay, let's raise money that nobody can think deep because they can't think for themselves. And that is the problem we have in this country. When people cannot think, you just come up with this narrative, you just sell it to them. And you know the next thing, they'll tell you, ah, oh, um, ah, not true, not true, not true, not true, not true. What this man said, yeah, he's actually saying the fact. And some people, they have these complex issues now for instance now you live abroad mfm live abroad me i'm living in nigeria C kind of a couple of people live abroad but you don't want to nigeria see we are one why suppose there oh man feel they feel like you guys living abroad or kind of like on the table so you go you go they feel like eh, they want to be feeling as if they are the one that they are smart or they know it all another problem we have in this justice for me but you know what it is the use of English, the use of English are actually damaged a lot of people. Westo will come on his life. You say, ah, whatever woman was saying was not coherent. It's not coherent, coherent, coherent. And because some dumb people, they don't even understand the use of word, the use of English. They don't understand the meaning. They will say, ah, what Westo was saying was true. Westo to Jacque, we will go to Sony Court. You know, Assuming whatever they are saying at the court, he, he, he had a note that is writing them down, he has nothing. But the little word he listened to, he comes to his life. And he will continue to spread that wrong narrative. Wrong narrative. And this, I, 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 I just started advocating for kind of like, see, if we are kind of like talking about this justice for mobile right now, maybe we should be adding a little bit of Yoruba. Talk about this, talk about English, Kasoni Yoruba, because a lot of us are actually said some words in english that is now affecting affecting some people imagine somebody that cannot even read a ctc a ctc copy to comprehend to understand it share any ctc to understand it there was this day i was tackling uh by your billions and do you know the issue we had there's just one phrase like it's just um it's not up to like 
500 words and we were on topic for like three hours bio could not even read to understand to comprehend he could not read a simple english to comprehend okay let, let's take for instance now a couple of days ago like when point released um a, a memo like a kind of like um that um what 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 what, what was written there that um uh, judge that they should settle the, the settlement that they delay the dna blah 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 that they should settle uh family issue or whatever and do you know the narrative these people painted about that uh, that, that, that what punch wrote that it was Wumi that was hiding from dna blah, blah and i was kind of like see she is english use people's problem why can't you just read a simple english and break it down to your understanding they can't and that's what got us to where we are you will go to a particular platform more they analyze it because we love and share it with what come and shake me for the justice you material and to build in the bible and carry bible this way for another person all because of say you just want people to hear you you just want people to say no ah oh my yeah i know but only people from liquid no one day without turn up and i said something i don't like to inherit unnecessary enemies i don't want to inherit unnecessary enemies but you know some people that you just have to put them in their place because they don't deserve to be close to you only i got to baba a a valley man so no a way i see a way to baba johnny oh my jay bello man so so if you mingle with this set of people the way you think is going to be affected i will give you one instance there was this day i went to when everything was still hot i think that was around september yeah i think yeah late september i went to westo's life and while i was somebody came up on westo's life a particular lady came up on the live and she said she had a dream in her dream, she saw how Mumi Pai Mo, and she was breaking it down. You know the funny part of this is this: why she was narrating the story, people were crying on that life. <laughs> First, somebody came to come and tell you that she, she saw everything that that I told in my dream. Whatever I see is the truth, and somebody will now come up to me and tell me that you saw how. Wumi died more bad on the life, and people were crying. Ah, you are right. Me too. I have a similar dream, and it shows to me like these people are crazy. She was crazy. She was not yawiri. One of the another day, I just decided, okay, let me just. And I requested, and I said, okay, um, somebody was now trying to paint a narrative to me. And you know what this person told me? She said she, she can prove it to me that it was Wumi that actually killed Mo. By the time this woman started narrating, I had to kind of like drop from that platform because it was actually what she was saying was getting to me. Like, you know, you will begin to reason the other way around. You will begin to reason like, maybe she's right. Maybe this person is actually saying the truth um because you will reason towards that direction leaving your own thoughts leaving your own mental kind of like you have to follow their narrative and that is the problem we have a lot of people have actually followed their narration so for them to kind of like come back is hard for them i want to work with dear put with dear they stop coming out they stop coming out because they they kind of like they can't just phantom the old the old truth that they kind of like they can't they can't accept the truth anymore i'm not vindicating with me i'm not but i just have to use my common sense did i witness the fight no he was so what does that mean if somebody could lose a son and there's two days after all he could complain was look at where i'm staying look at where i'm staying 
and look go and look at what he bought for me go and look at that car he bought for me and she don't go to your cura for me here complaints complaints that same day he was asked somebody was saying eh, Motu Mubadi call what I call Motu Mubadi wa eh eh phone me call I thought that do you understand and I was like is this this kind of man that I would believe whatever is coming out from his mouth the man before Mubad was buried this woman came out if you know Yalola day Yalola day came up that day and she was saying and when they were questioning the father that how what happened to the neck it was this same woman that broke into that conversation that no, but Mofi had no it on any. And I keep telling people that woman knows a lot, but they won't point their searchlight to that woman. If the woman can be telling us that eh, it was the pastor, but on a pastor fed down, no, it's you see, loading, but of fake we on way, long way, she bears in pussy. Definitely, she witnessed when they were putting the boy inside the casket. Why are people not talking about it? Why are they not asking questions? What? There are some questions, there are some people that we can actually question on this justice for mobile that, will, that they will give us what we want. But because I would say maybe they are, some people have been paid or they choose to be unfortunate in their life. And that's what I would say. They're kind of like, they just choose to be unfortunate and push a different narrative. And lastly, some people just want to be kind of like popular on TikTok. And I, I and I keep saying it's a cheap popularity. popularity yeah. yeah. I go and Sammy look at my life. Yeah, Sammy, I have Sammy Jojo. Sammy Jojo. Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes, to become one but unfortunately the people that we are interacting with they don't want peace all what they want is let me be honest with you they don't want this whole issue to to come to an end because they are getting their life their, their source of livelihood from all these shenanigans you understand so which is why they will keep on bringing different narratives every blessed day but i see no big deal if they are ready to make peace and we should all come together you understand and um you know seek the justice that we actually want for more so you as a person as a peace um you know giver what do you think how would you go about that and do you think they are ready to make peace um based on what you guys have said especially sam mr sam i would say i would suggest is meeting all the popular hosts and telling them what your red flags are that this sort of um, discussions or these points triggered i mean you guys don't find it funny and they have to stop so for example you can say you do not appreciate anybody calling out the child the police can you control your members i mean everyone has a platform like the other day when i went on paparazzo i asked him if i had the permission to say some things because he's, he's on, on his platform so I have to respect his rules. So I think going on every, I mean, we have to um, go and I mean, get along with every host that they must enforce certain rules. They should not allow um, the panelists or commenters. I mean, I believe every host has moderators to them, uh, do the uh, moderate the, uh, the comment section. But people, I mean, things like calling out the child is not acceptable. And also, um, calling out, if you find it so offensive, calling out a widow, I mean, like cursing her out, that has to stop. I mean, I, I myself, I don't see, I don't see, I mean, it's irresponsible when you start cursing someone. If you believe the person is um, guilty or you believe the person is a prime suspect, the right thing to do is to write a petition to the police or to the, I mean, to the police or the, uh, appropriate authorities. It's not going on social media and every time. They, what we are not doing is pure harassment and that's the truth. Many people can say, go against me for saying that, but it's the truth, it's harassment that we are all doing. Because when even, if someone owes you money and you keep calling the person frequently, it becomes harassment under the law. 
So the constant calling out for the neighbors, so black widow, and things like that. And the same to us to be the mother and the father too. I mean, every one of us have to draw the lines. I mean, we have to respect everybody's opinions and be more mature and more responsible with our own chances on social media. It doesn't mean because we are social media, we have to make all chances that we alter other people's feelings. We need to respect our feelings as humans. The things you would say that would trigger um, your reaction. And I don't think it's funny when you intentionally get someone angry just because you're behind the, uh, a phone or a computer and you can spew out rubbish and hatred. So I think going forward, is every host, I mean, we need to start calling out every host that they should be more responsible in the way they moderate their, uh, their, their, their platforms. I believe, for example, if every host now misses enforcing, you cannot abuse the father, you cannot abuse the mother, you cannot abuse the child or abuse the widow. Just take the family out and state your opinion, state your point, what you, why do you believe this and this is the way to resolve the case without name calling. I think that can be more matured way. I mean, a more matured way of handling uh, or debating or having an argument. And sometimes I even say the argument is becoming repetitive. It's we've been saying the same thing for almost the last eight months, and we are still dancing, um, turning around within circles at the same point. We're not moving forward, and that's why I believe at the end of the day, the whole case is going to end at the corona inquest because. No one is going after evidence. What everyone is after is just circumstantial evidence, which is not binding in law. And the end of the day, we end because we don't get what we believe. We end up abusing each other because we want to make superior arguments over on social media, which I think it doesn't make any sense on both sides of the party. That's my thoughts because I would have said meeting the family, but I can see the family. Uh, unfortunately, the people around the family have poisoned the minds of both parties, uh, especially on the side of the father. It's going to be difficult now because the people that have been stationed there that do not want peace. Ideally, if the parents have come together and if they have one voice and say, people, please stop causing each other, stop fighting because of our child. That would strong, send a strong word to all the bullies out there, social media bullies. But there are certain individuals that do not want them to be unified. So I, I was going to say, suggest that but unifying the family at this point, I don't think it's going to be possible. So the only way that means is we need to enforce rules on platforms where everybody, every OC, I mean, needs to be called into one meeting. And be, I mean, I mean, we have to appeal to their conscience. It's not about what money you make on this black app that matters. It's about the mental health of the public and the mental health of the family involved. That's my opinion. Well, thank you for your opinion. As, let me let me tell you mine. Me, this one. This one. I think we've um, we've come this far. They've done a lot of damages, to be honest with you. I don't want to associate with them. I don't want to have anything to do with them. Honestly, they've done a lot of damages that, though nobody, I can't say I can't forgive anyone because I'm not God. And um, it's not even my family, you understand. But notwithstanding, even if not, not we've, we've, we've crossed that bridge that will not say, okay, let's all sit down together and... I, I can't see myself, I can't see us with them coming together. Even Lady Aries, that we decided to like, okay, Lady Aries, you know, when she started saying the truth and she moved away from all the lies that they were, they were talking about and she decided to you know, come into the light. She wasn't supporting nobody, she was just on her own. We, were, we embraced her and we go to our platform to talk. Sami Jojo goes there and others, they go there, Mystic goes there, I, I don't go about. Because I can't stand Tozik platform. I can. It gives me headache. I would rather stay in my home, in my lane. If you want to stream them, stream them. I will listen and I'll give it back to them. So Lady Aries, when she, you know, started doing her things, we embraced her. We go to her platform. And we're not forcing our ideas on her. Neither was she forcing her idea on, on us. Until, 
until some few days ago when Mama Isabot came to our platform. Then she went back from. So nobody can be trusted. Nobody. You were trying to pass a wrong narrative to what wasn't. And Sami Jojo and MFM was trying to like tell Mama Isabel that this is how it was. We are not as if we are supporting women. No, we are not women supporters. We just don't want you bullying the widow and the baby. That was why they decided to give us women. No, we are not. We are all justice for Mobadu. That's that the main reason why we all came out is justice for this boy. But when you people decided to like wanted to pin or you you wanting because they are still trying very much to pin this thing on this on this um on this poor <coughs> poor widow. Pardon me. You know that was when we we're like we cannot stand here while we're looking for justice and you already want to kill the widow. You want to fight the widow? No, we're not gonna get. That. We're not. We're not gonna accept that from you. You understand? So we've tried several times to make peace with those people, but peace is not is not an option. Let me be honest with you. Peace is not an option because if you try to make peace, there are some people that do not want the peace. They don't want it because this is where they get their livelihood. It's like you want to take the food from their mouth. Do you know what that um, Latisne said? He said he's going to go home for, for the next three years. So for the next three years, Mobad is not going to be buried. They've damaged the family. They can't come together. And if they decide to come together, I, I doubt it. I doubt it. Honest, to be honest with you, nothing is impossible. Never say never. That is my motto. Never say never. Don't ever say never. If you say this, thing, I'm not, I'm not going to do you. Anything can happen. So I, 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 I don't say never. Ne never. No. I don't ever say never. So that is just the way i see to me i would rather prefer they be let them stay on their lane and let us stay on their lane besides TikTok, we are just ranting here we're not going to be the people that will make judgment no TikTok is not he's not going to make judgment they are still going to the courts so the court will be the final say we are just here we are just here <clears throat> catching crews talking and doing all sort of things you understand you know, trying to defend who we don't want you to kill, to pie. We don't want you to bully the widow. We don't want you to bully the child. All what we are saying, we'll not even, we'll not even get to the court of law. The court of law will be the final judge. So why don't we stay on our lane? Let them stay on their lane. That's what I think. You understand? You know. Yeah, so. I, do. Yeah, I do understand. Like Lady Harris, I, I always go on the platform and in our defense, especially what you just said, I would say it's, I know everyone because an opinion, and I mean that's something that I, I, for me, I want to respect each other's opinion, even to buttress the, what you just said. You know, even with what you said, she said I was on Latis platform and someone called in. I was just listening because when I'm walking, I use. I mean, sometimes I use. I mean, I, I I'm into tech, so sometimes listening to people gives me this inspiration when I'm writing my codes, and so someone just came in and. Called, I mean, someone called and Mati and began to cause Iris. Even what you just said, you were against that. I mean, I was so, I felt I had to just switch off. What the lady said is, Iris, I'll go for it, her enemy will taste what Baba Mobad tasted. That she, she couldn't, uh, she knows what she's doing, she knows the justice, and she just wants to destroy it because they are not giving her up hand. And that's why she, but when Esa uh, came in, she was defending Baba, but despite it, what Baba Mubad has faced, she to taste it. You can imagine. So it's so difficult when sometimes when you want to say your truth or say your, it's the backlash that you get. And it's the same thing with Tim Momento. Some people would want to say the, express that, thing, but because of the backlash, some toxic elements in there would, would unleash on them. They are forced to fall to the line. It's part of strategy. If this whole stuff has come a group thing, when when you begin to think against the the dogma of the group, it becomes an anathema. I mean, you begin. I mean, it's not allowed. You are not allowed to think outside the box. It's what we have decided. You must believe. It is wrong for you to have your own opinion. And once you start having an opinion that goes against what the group believes, then it becomes you have it, you've now been termed as a traitor. So that's what I mean. Lady Harris is an open, you can always speak to her. She's one you can always talk to her. I say, oh, this is my opinion and this is what I believe. 
and as she would discuss with you, I mean, without having to go being nasty, she's very open-minded. So, unfortunately, it is what this whole movement has turned to a very toxic environment. Once you say things that they do not like, they are going to call you out and cause the person, I mean, not just even the person, the, unborn, the children of born generation, you can see how, how devious this will for me, I just want to I mean, get out of it. I'm not going to be honest, I'm not going to get interested in it. I'm not going to It's just, I just want to, why I'm even this, it's just in my I want to find a way with this thing end. I'm no longer interested in it anymore. It just, I mean, not I'm interested in being part, active. It's just my inquisitive nature, just I'll bear with this all madness end. Because what I see is no longer a movement, it's a madness. That is going on because this is not how to be you agitate for my for 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 justice. This is no longer agitation, this is just those getting clicks. It's not more just it's not justice, to be honest with you. It's not justice. Look at the way um the Otumba went ahead. I wanted to settle the dispute between Baba Mubad and Yam Mubad. And immediately they got to know about this, they went all gaga, they were all crazy. They were like they were fooling, they were born like they don't want it to say to. They don't want it, so why can't why are we bothered? We will do all what we can to protect the um the wife, the child, the mother, the brother. We will do our best from all these vultures because to me, I see them as vultures and whoops. They just want to pray, they want this to keep on trending and trending and trending. So I beg, I just some call me. Settlement is not an option because it's not gonna work. Let me trust me. Trust me, if you are willing to say to some people are out there that they don't want they don't want this to say to at all. Ah, oh, need jail now. Bala even jail. Bala even jail. You don't jail in here. Ah, what you have a parrot for my check me? You got on jail in here. You know. Try to try your best. No, I don't know. There's not a way because it has happened to me before, and I stopped it doing it, and that's why I don't even do it because I know the effects of it, and people don't know it. That's why I said. It's the after effects some people the ripple effects that they were getting after this old madness has stopped that people won't understand some people just begin to struggle in life and they don't know that they brought it upon themselves because they got entangled with the madness which they call justice movement that's why i was just calling for peace i mean for them. some people are brought in curses upon their children if some children starts people some people don't believe in cases but i know scorses work especially if you if God give, I mean, if you've got the, the grace to pray for someone, <laughs> you still have the grace to cause people. And some, I mean, it's just to stop all this madness. That's why I'm, I'm just concerned. That I don't know. It's a difficult thing. To, I mean, how we can stop it, but I'll just keep pre preaching love, one love with everyone. I mean. As much as possible. Yeah, it's possible. a good thing. I like the idea. One love, one love. To me, love rules. Love can conquer everything. But if there is no love or more, Egbagbe, Egbagbe, just come and shake you. We defend what we need to defend. Okay. They will not no. attack you for this. I know they'll be, they be, and I don't care. No, the only time I went I angry, I went ballistic. The only time I went ballistic on this justice was um, with bio billions when. I had the tape the way it was dragging and pulling chairman. I'm like, how can you be pulled? I mean, just because this man has gone for peace and you, this young boy, you are dragging an elderly person and you are, I mean, he was basically dragging the words out of his mouth like, so when he came on the nearest platform, I just lost it. It was like, <laughs> I know, I can't, I mean, I just lost it as in, what's, I mean, who gave you the audacity because you are behind the phone, you can talk to people goodly. I mean, this is a gentleman. He went all out his way to make peace. And then the day you guys ridiculed him, posted his photographs on social media. It makes no sense anymore. This is just, I mean, it makes no sense anymore. I think this person down here is talking. Rishi, you are saying something, but we can't hear you. Oh my God, your voice is not working. She's not talking, though. She's muted, though. 
She's not talking. She's muted. But look at the cycle. Look at the, cycle. the cycle is showing. She's, she's talking. She's not talking. Okay, <laughs> she, and the cycle one you draw away. Teach person him back to show. Cycle my uh, There's a the blue cycle that will show like this. Ah uh, no, she's not talking. She's muted. Okay, from my side here, yeah, what I'm seeing, she's not muted. The mic is not muted. For my side here, yeah, it's not muted. Where is she? MFM is from you. It's from you. From anybody, is, 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 does it look like she's talking? Are you seeing the uh, the, the blue sign okay, beeping? Uh, maybe from your side, but from us, we are not seeing. <coughs> Anyway, where she are you there? Where did you meet yourself? You come down, come back. Oh. The corner is <laughs> not muted, but she's not talking. She's not muted. The mic is not muted here. Immediately, it's over. What is she doing? Or you really talk to that one? And the person has been, ah, they were so good. They can help me, but the mom will be there to my body. I can help you. I have come back again, you know? Come back. Because that person is... Send your request again, I will bring you back. Honestly, yes. mm, you changed my mind somehow, somehow, but I don't know if it's going to work. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work with other people. Like aside from some people getting chasing clowns, some people are also making money from this. So uh, it's not easy. For, hmm. It will not be easy for them. Dead. Omo, you call Oshie. Kushie anybody now? Kushie anybody? Where to share? Master, kushie money to kuni. To share sorrow and see. Kilo muda de la ratiti. Oh, de lo moti ti. And they are calling you daddy, daddy, daddy. On what dumb people can't even make money? Daddy York, Daddy York, Daddy York. Kilo York, Kilara. Kilo, can you go to York, Kilara? If you, if, 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 if withdraw that statement, if he want to claim that he's a father, he should withdraw that statement. I am a proud father, and I support, I support children a lot. I value children, not only my own children. At all, more than me, at all, more than I value children a lot. So he's just been stupid, and I put it to him. He's just been stupid, useless. He's so useless, he's useless to the core. For a man to come on a life and wish that little boy dead, shoti kuni, ah, yo ko go ti kuni no aye, whatever that is. Koto munu edu, o ma kuni fun koto soye. Sami. Koto munu edu, tole mu to soru ko benye. No, Sammy, honestly, don't curse him again. Just let it go. It's all right. It's all right. Mm. Go. Wendy, Wendy, egg bag, beer, egg bag, beer. I just want to come in. So I feel it. Oh, my goodness, you're wild. I feel it. I feel it. Oh, my goodness, you're wild. No, Sammy, just take it easy, please. I heard it. No, Sammy, it's so no, I feel this pain. Sammy, eh, Rotex, 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 so go come. Rotex said, he said, the bounty as if they come together. That is what he said just now. Yeah. That, that how do you yeah. how do you have to get that, put everything aside and achieve whatever? I know, I know, I, I don't know who you are trying to talk about. Like how uh, people call Wasa and Iwa, they did this. Can you please especially on that and then? Yeah, exactly. You know, you are no. Clearly, so so. No, no, their panels, especially when they know you are not driving that. Then bitter narrative. Once you try to speak up, they bring you down, or you're trying to challenge them. Once you need a cause, one they'll bring you down, and so because of that, they've driven that narrative. So most people are now um, aligned based on the ideologies that their platforms hold or the main speakers hold, and those people are the people who are now driving the main stories. And unfortunately, what they are driving is hatred. And when the hatred comes, and when you start seeing, especially when they see their favorites being cast out, the next thing is they, their followers will now start coming after each other. And the next thing, everybody will start drawing out their knives at each other. Just because, I mean, I just it's not logical anymore. As 
rational individuals, people you don't even see, people you don't know, you'll be wishing them. If the causes could work, I was just wondering this night, how many people would have died because of Mobad? That week, but I shall leave my number of Okuto matter just because of, so even someone like me, I didn't even know him until after, until after his death. But because when people have come up as um, as um, responsible citizens of Nigeria, that we want to stop bullying, intimidation, oppression in our society, and wanted to speak up and stop that. And along the line, some people drew up the narrative and the whole justice movement did a two, complete divide into two teams. And the next thing within those teams began began to have leaders that begin to drive certain narratives and within the narratives began opposition and within the opposition began fights and curse. So now tell us why don't we get rid of those people who are pushing? Let's just push them to the I mean let's just ignore them, move them into oblivion. Because as long as people begin to believe those people, the hatred will continue and we begin to eat. I pretend that one serious potential we actually we found more than the little child. Many people find it. I mean, I don't know how many many of us believe overseas. I mean, we live abroad and we know that what we are doing is criminal. No one can. I mean, if because most of us are doing speaking Europe, we can do. I mean, they can get away with what they are doing. But how many of them can dare say a child? a Caucasian child, and you begin to curse a Caucasian child in public or wherever, and the, the public knows, they will deal with you. Even the person making your statement, if you report the person to the home office, if it's in the UK, that this certain individual is doing this and they do not have um, a permanent residency, they can be deported because of that, because they can serve a criminal sentence. And after, if this criminal sentence is more than 365 days, that's automatic deportation. That's what I, it doesn't come to the point I'm thinking that people who are driving this trade amongst us, we should start sending them to prison because it doesn't make any sense anymore. And I wonder if this child, the, um, um, this little child, the mental, mental um, issues we are unknowingly created for this child when he grows up and later he goes on, to, on social media because most of the things that have been done will be archived. It doesn't go. And it begins to watch how adults have been cursing him out when he was a little child. It's going to affect his mental psyche, uh, psychic. If his classmate is reading and he gets into a fight, you know how bitter, it's, we don't, many of us do not know the impact of what we are doing now. And that's why I want to like, let's stop, work together and stop this and let love reign. Let love reign. Even whatever happens, let as, as it is, as it is, I know where this case is going to end in, and I'm not going to say it, but at the end of it, I know where it is it's going nowhere. It's just jamboree, the family, and I squarely put the blame on the family. The family has not taken control of their issues, and they've allowed it to s s um, spill out for the public to have food, social food to devour and make mockery of themselves. And it is a shame to the head of the family, to the family itself for letting this, not protecting the child, even if they have any issues or um, opinion, a child should have been protected at all costs from the, from the glare of the public, from the ridicule of the public. And it's going to go a long way in the future which the family has to find a way to handle. But above it all, above all, I just want us to love each other and stop the hatred, stop the fighting, and let us be one, one, one family. I mean, one family of Nigerians who work together. Tomorrow, anybody can come across it. We can come across the divide. We can need help wherever in our career, in our businesses. We can come and, and I mean, pull each other along. And that's what um, love is all about. We hold each other's hands and we lead ourselves, push ourselves forward into blessings, into glory, into um, progress. I mean, progression in life, not causing people, ambushing people down for. Yeah, and it's gotten to me. I'm like, how long will this case go on? Let's okay. They are going to have the 
private autopsy. At the end of the day, if nothing comes out, they'll still keep dragging it, dragging it. And the more they drag it, the more hatred, the more bitterness that is still going on. I'm just wishing this case should just go away. I mean, just end and let everyone get back their lives together. And now what I've decided now be going from platform to platform again. I won't I know some platform I won't go to because they they don't even want to hear anything. It once you say anything against the narrative, they curse you out, they will block you. But there are certain platforms I know there's sensible people, sensible humans still on there that they can still hold on to this message of peace and peace. Are you hiding under yeah. Mr. Rotex? um yeah, let evening. me just say good evening sorry pardon good evening uh, no worries, no worries. Yeah. um when this um cost starts everyone was speaking with one voice like we want justice for this we want justice for mobile until the song change and some people now bring a division some people now start bullying the poor widow and the child that was why when when that happened we now decide like why are you guys doing that to this lady there's no evidence here right here that tell us that the lady killed her husband okay you guys need to stop that that is where we start defending the widow and the child for them not to bully her we want them to stop bullying her even if she's guilty let it let it uh, let it The, uh, the court taken or let their charge out to court but you cannot just be waking up every day with stupid narrative and if you can see in this platform what i like them about they just just stand up wake up one day and start causing somebody no it's maybe somebody did something and trying to put that person into that into that person's place then you see us in action like we stand up up to that person but what we are all claiming for what we, we all want 